Hello everyone, John Zwart here at Home and Property Real Estate. You know, during my time of involvement in the real estate sector, which uh, is going on 30 years now in various, uh, various facets of the business, uh, one of the things that's become clear to me is that there are trends that happen uh, in real estate uh, from time to time, uh, kind of uh, societal trends. Uh, for example, one of the things that I noticed early on uh, back in the 80s when I first got involved was in the late 80s, actually, was that the, that the trend in terms of home construction was toward uh, smaller first-time buyer homes. So it was really addressing a need for uh, young couples coming into the market and uh, perhaps uh, middle-aged couples as well that may have been renting for a period of time. And uh, so uh, a lot of new homes that were in the 1,000 to 1,300 square foot range were being built, and they weren't necessarily of the best quality, but they weren't bad either, and they, filled, they definitely filled a need. Uh, since then, there have been different trends. More recently, there's a trend uh, toward intensification, toward uh, many people moving into condominium flats. And uh, again, there are reasons for that, which we're not going to go into now, but uh, it is interesting to see these trends, which tend to happen in about five to ten year uh, segments. Now uh, one of the things that I've noticed as well over my uh, almost 30 years of involvement is that there are trends um, inside families. So uh, a family for example uh, if they buy a two-story three-bedroom home uh, most likely, now not in, not in every case, but uh, if, let's say it's a two-story home, uh, in uh, the future when they buy another home, um, many times it will also be a two-story. Now it might be larger, it might be four bedrooms to meet a growing family's needs, it might have a double car garage as opposed to a single car garage or no, car, no garage at all, but in many respects there are still similarities. Same with bungalows, a lot of times I see that people that uh, own one bungalow, if they uh, move into a, another home it'll um, most likely be a bungalow as well. Now uh, there are trends, uh, those types of trends uh, in terms of what families desire uh, is the reason for this video today. I'm wondering if uh, you would take a moment to register in the comments section below what it is that attracted you to the home that you're currently in and what is it that you might be desiring for any home that you would eventually hope to move to in the future. Uh, are there similarities between your desires for the future and what you currently have or are you looking for something totally different? Be interesting to see uh, if there's any kind of trend, if you will, that evolves in terms of the commentary to this video. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you see and hear uh, on our Facebook page here, uh, feel free to, uh, uh, to acknowledge that with, your, with the like button and uh, also uh, register any appreciation that you might have. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.